Welcome to getting started with DDX Bricks. You can think of a DDX Brick as a special kind of demo card that's powered by JavaScript and your data. With it, you can create stunning visualizations and new kinds of data applications which can be embedded anywhere. Not a developer? That's not a problem. With our DDX templates, you just need basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript skills to fully customize your DDX brick. DDX bricks also support many of the most popular visualization libraries like D3, Mapbox, Plotly, and HiCharts. To get started, go to the App Store and search for DDX brick templates. you'll see that there are already dozens of templates ready to be edited for you. Today, we're going to edit this world map. To do so, select the map and then choose the dashboard or create a new dashboard. A DDX bricks needs to reside on some page within Domo. Once you have your DDX brick chosen, just click on the wrench icon to begin editing the card. And you'll see here a basic JavaScript, HTML, and CSS editor. On the right side is the code, and on the left is a preview. Whenever you make a change to your code, hit the Run button to see the updates in the preview window. Choosing a new kind of data set is really easy as well. Simply go down to Select Data Set, and in this case, we'll change it from airports to something like earthquake data. And your DDX brick will automatically update. If you want to customize your code, that's easy too. Just search through the well-commented code, make your changes, and make sure to hit that Run button as often as you can, just to make sure you haven't made a mistake that you can't recover from easily. And you can see here, we've made just a few minor changes just to the styling of the chart. And then once we do that, make sure to hit save and finish. And when you do, you should see your brand new DDX brick ready to go on your page. If you'd like to learn more about DDX bricks, please visit our Domo Developer portal at developer.domo.com. Thank you.